Salut à tous, c'est Fredox. Bienvenue sur ce troisième épisode du LP sur The Walking Dead. Alors, euh, de retour avec Lee, l'homme qui tombe tout le temps. Et nous devions aller chercher des médicaments pour euh, le vieil homme. Là. En profiter d'avoir la même pour jouer un petit peu. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Metona. Discutons un petit peu. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Okay. Parlons à Doug, le héros. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, okay. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Très bavard. I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Alors, comment va le petit Ducky? Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. 
I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Alors, comment va-t-il I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Reston Diplomata. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. Wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Je peux lui donner la barre énergétique apparemment. It's not much but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention it. Faut bien qu'on s'entraide. Hop, il y a une autre. Ça. Et encore une. It's 
not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Ce que ça sert maintenant? Oh, une pile. Aucune. Parlons avec la petite Clémentine. Pour lui donner à manger, oui. C'est pas beaucoup, mais here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Gwen? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. D'accord. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Oh, la deuxième pile. On va pouvoir faire marcher la radio. Et paniquer encore plus. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? C'est pas rang, je présume. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Et donc? It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Pas très doué là. Elle a mis les piles à l'envers. C'est pas des bonnes nouvelles, effectivement. I better get back to it. Yep. Allons voir le bureau. Ça 
c'est là où on a retrouvé ses parents. La famille au complet. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. N'oublions pas qu'elle a une arme, on sait jamais. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Donc la pharmacie se trouve par là. On va finir d'explorer d'abord. S'il y a quelque chose d'autre. First aid kit. Ça peut être utile. There's nothing I need in here. D'accord. Apparemment, il y a rien d'autre. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Uh. 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 Do you have 
have kids? No. You don't have a family? Huh. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Petit <laughs> Marine. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Hello. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and... Talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Hmm. Oh, sa pharmacie va servir du coup. D'abord soigner la petite. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee? <laughs> Lee. <laughs> They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Oh, the tiroir. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Voyons voir les infos. That's what I figured. Bien tenté. Alors, petit blabla qu'elle mentine encore pour voir. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. 
Ok. Donc je pense qu'on est bon ici. Bon, ben on va tenter d'aller vers la pharmacie. Moi, j'étais un Ok, allons-y. Bien sûr. pas vu dans cette pièce. Plus rien à faire avec le bureau. On va retourner à côté. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, c'est compliqué. Sometimes things happen, or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Voilà, très rassuré du coup. Bon. Faudrait trouver ses clés donc. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. Ok. Je suis pas sûr que ce soit une bonne idée, mais bon. Apparemment. Et on va voir comment c'est dehors. Et notre ami Doug. Allons-y. Sont toujours là. Euh... Ouais, 
communication job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Hmm. Avec la télécommande, oui. Faire diversion. Mais pour l'instant, on va pas sortir encore. You guys try to get in there and get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear the rest of Son frère. Shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. It could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we can see oh, prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Hmm. La photo, bien sûr. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Voilà, la télé avec la télécommande. Bien, ben je pense qu'on tentera la sortie pour le prochain épisode. On va s'arrêter là. Pas mal d'action dans celui-là, si on peut dire. Beaucoup moins de cinématiques. Ben J'espère que cet épisode vous a plu. Et on se retrouve la prochaine fois pour la suite et la sortie. A ciao